So hello from Synergy. It's been a long time. We've kind of gone dark with our social media and videos and everything. You know, there's only so much of um, me sat on my own or Steve sat on his own on the sofa. Um, I'm on my way to go and see Steve now. Um, we're going to get together for the first time since since all this began uh, and start to, to kickstart our uh, our program for for 2020. It's been tough for us. Um, you know, we spent nearly a year in the making developing this team um, and turning Synergy into something that that we've dreamt of. And um, you know, we were we were ready. We did a great test in Spain, and we were ready to get going uh, round one. Um, for no limits where we were going to start with our endurance racing uh, and to have it pulled on you know the, the week of round one was so tough on everybody and you know we haven't run that bike since uh, since Spain so you know the middle of February um, so I spent the past few days working on it I was going to get some footage but um, just kind of decided that uh, you know it's it's time that we really get some action um, so I, I didn't bother filming it uh, we prepared the bike it's ready to go um, uh, we're going to be off to Alton Park and start getting some real testing done and some real data on some UK circuits getting ready for racing uh, it looks like no limits are going to start racing again the weekend of the 1st of August so we'll be on that um, and we might even get um, a Thundersport racing before then just to get some practice we've got quite a lot lined up uh, we've got uh, Alton Park this week, Snatterton uh, on the 28th of June, uh, Cadwell in July and then Donington hopefully at the end of July and then we'll be into the racing so um, we're going to try and get as much time on the bike as possible and as much time with Charlie and just getting him you know set up and in the right place so uh, so yeah, I think we can really get this thing going. Um, and then once the 2020 season's finished, um, I say once it's finished, I wasn't even started yet. But um, once we've, you know, once we've got going with with no limits, um, and we're putting in the results we need to there, uh, then we're hoping to to make it into the BSB uh, calendar. We still don't know what that's going to look like. Um, what. You know, all, all we know so far is some dates have been published for, I think it's three races around. But again, that's for the super bikes. So we don't know what the stock six support classes are going to be doing. Um, so it's just a case really of, of, of waiting to see what's published there. But if not, we're going to spend some quality time club racing. No limits run a fantastic round. Um, and the endurance racing is a lot of fun as well. So it's... Um, it's nice and competitive and will certainly be a great setup for us and just make the best really of what we've got in 2020 um, with a view to jump straight into our winter test program um, and spend as much time as possible in Spain we've got some hopefully some exciting things happening uh, over the coming months um, and that could take us in all sorts of directions for 2021 so uh, when our winter test program begins, we should be in a position to start giving you a bit of news and letting you know, you know what we've got planned and, and what we're up to. Um, but baby steps, you know, bit by bit. End of this month, we've got some exciting things happening, so so stay tuned. But anyway, I'm going to turn up now and see uh, see Steve and see what he's got to say. It'd be nice to see his face after such a long time. Pulled up at the big man's, waiting for him to come on out. Been home, got the van. So we're going to make our way over to Alton Park. Let's see what treats he's bought us. Here he comes. Hello, mate. Mm -hmm. Fun snacks. Fun snacks. Oh. Welcome to the Love Bus. Oh. 
He's in. Where have you been, mate? Uh, mm. you, got, you got a wet wipe? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Is it the road? Let's do this shit. Seatbelt be safe. Oh, the seatbelt. We got torn off last time. Yeah. Indicating. How you been, mate? Where have I been? How you been? Where you been? Oh, what yeah. you wearing? Been at home. Naked. Yeah. Eating. That's about it. Cheers, love. Yeah, I think that's been the theme of lockdown is eating and I think just I think eating. I think it's been that long. My clothes just got a lot smaller. I think. Yeah, mine have uh, shrunk. We haven't worn them so much. Sh shrunken. Yeah. Oh, traffic grief. New T-shirts, sexy design. Oh. You haven't got one. No, I see that. It's got better, better, better logo on this one. <laughs> Oh. oh, there's cog. No, okay. Sorry, mate. Cheers. Cheers. So, talk to me. Where you been? What you been doing? Have you missed me? A little bit. Not a lot, really, mate. Bikes. Sold one. Bought one. Sold two, actually. Bought. Too many. <laughs> I've just been buying, buying more and more and more. Yeah. I think I, I think I bought one and sold one, and then I bought a load more and Never still got them. <laughs> Do something with them though. Yeah, yeah. Now we've been um, speaking a lot through lockdown and all that crap, but now it's finally time we can get back out on the road again and do what we're here for. Yeah. So we're gonna head up to Alton now. Um, secret dogging spot somewhere in a lay by overnight. No, I didn't bring that loop. Yeah. It's just exciting, mate, isn't it? Got me fat a bit on. Fitbit. Fitbit. Fitbit crew. Fitbit, yeah. Fitbit massive. So we can see how terribly unfit we are and yeah. how we get out of breath picking up a coffee. Yeah. Amazing. Feels like I've been doing this for, yeah, for ages. But it also feels like it was only yesterday. Do you know what I mean? Like when we were picking up the bike and from Spain and we did that other stupid video. Yeah. We're gonna just shut down after after the whole lockdown thing. Because it was too torturous not racing. Yeah. So I just kind of locked, locked everything away, forgot about it, throw social media, not make any videos, just forget about it until we can get back into it again. Motor GP's on a bit of a hammering on the old Xbox. Yeah. I am now the world's fattest Moto 3 champion. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, um, it's, been, it's been real... real crap, to be honest. Yeah, nice to get back to a bit but yeah, normality on it, I think. Fully loaded and, and ready to go now, mate. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Wait, there's, there's no nothing. The aircon broke, yeah? Yeah. 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 You, 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 can open, you can open your aircon. Okay, we'll see. There we go for that. Yeah. Lockdown purchase. Lockdown purchase. Number uno. I want to bought that ZX10. Yeah. Which you would have all seen, hopefully, for sale on Facebook. That sold real quick. Um, so that was just a nice little quick turn. It was... Um, 2008 Gen 3, so relatively sought after, but a good good bit of kit, and it was it was real tidy by the time we finished with it. So um, yeah, that was just a project really, to keep me busy more than anything. Finished my R1. Yeah, that was a big biggie. I mean, that feels like years ago now, right at the beginning of lockdown. Yeah, all the forks were stretched all didn't Yeah, finished the R1. The exhaust. That's not actually made it up onto Facebook yet. No. So we'll get that up. Uh, I've got a lovely picture of that with Charlie's bike. It's done very similar colours, so that was good. And then when I bought a ZX7. Yeah, you did. ZX7R P1, 96, first edition, uh, from a chap in Donington. Um, that's turned into a project. Yeah. Weren't expecting it to. 
but it's had some pretty hefty carb issues, um, which I'm slowly working my way through. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's, again, that's going to be another project. Is, is that X7 something we've always wanted? Mm. Uh, it's been a favourite of yours, more so yours than mine, probably. Um, yeah. But we've definitely got the love for them. Though you did have one in your front room. I did have one in my front room for a while, didn't I? Never rode it. No. Um, <coughs> Then what did I buy after the Zerg 7? I bought that. No, I didn't really buy that jig, so. Kind of just came through my garage. Yeah, that, yeah, that kind of went in and out. Was it? Then I bought the R1. Yes. I bought yes, another R1. The R1. Yeah. Um, 2008 4 R1. That's going to get turned into a real nice little track bike and. Um, Gonna go up for sale, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. That'd be a nice bike to have. Um, then I bought another ZX7. Yeah. And P1 again? 97, so it might be a P2. But either way, um, a lot better condition, runs really nice. Um, just needs a bit of paint and some TLC. Do something with that, make that nice and special, probably sell it. Um, I think the ultimate goal is to get something a little bit more sought after, isn't it? Yeah, probably go an RR maybe and yeah. leave us to see. I think if we can get ourselves an R1, uh, R1. If we can get ourselves an RR, yeah. uh, and then maybe do it up properly and we'll race it then. Yeah, we did find um, that XBSB bike, didn't we, that RR? I mean, that was quite. Yeah. But it's a bit. Chris Walker's? Yes, it is. 99? 98? 98. The bike was it? I can't remember what year it was now. Whatever year it was, the bike was a year off. I think the bike was 97. The bike was 98. It was a, it yeah, was yeah. A, yeah, but it's the one he came second on in the BSB, wasn't it? Yeah, so it's in some podiums. Yeah. Um, that could be quite a. But would you want to ride that then? Oh, That's you, the problem, isn't it? Yeah. You know, you're going to spend, spend all that money getting something like that, you're then going to want to go and throw it down. Trainers. Yeah, exactly. Flipping around and. Sorry, mate, you had to fly on you. Shit, I touched you. Oh no. Sorry, corona free. Um, oh, mate! I got your present. Have it. Oh, mate. Wait for it. Boom! No. Boom! <laughs> Show the people <laughs> what they want to see. <laughs> Come on. This is the one. Oh yeah, the beard catcher. <laughs> the beard catcher. Is it like a, a knacker sling? Yep. Have you had it? I've had it <laughs> in and around my gentleman area. Look at that. Oh, it looks like a beak. <laughs> uh, other side. There it is. Oh yeah, <laughs> branded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you, feel? You, you do it like some sort of duck. Maybe put it under your chin a little bit. Get get all of the chins in it. They are in cheeky twat. No, there's definitely one that's not in. Not bad beard, that is. Looks like that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. A beard and you've got to wear it all the time. When you're in a car on your own, in the shower. No. Would you go to bed on your own wearing a condom? <laughs> I would, because I like to posh. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might like that. Yeah. Got a little Brandorino. Right. These are the my ears flop down though. A uh, uh, wing nut. I'm going to pin my ear on the back of my glasses. Nope. Fail. Um, now you look a little bit special. So yeah, that's it really. Bought a load of motorbikes and... Um, Plotting. Pl plotting. Plotting. Plotting is the. What have we been plotting? Lots of plotting. Plenty plot. Plenty plot. Keep, keep, keep it. On. Keep it non politically, diversely friendly. We don't want any rioting. That's the. <laughs> but yeah. What's the plotting? 
plotting. What? Secret plotting. Secret plotting. Plotting soon to be revealed. Lockdown's had us up to mischief. Yeah. And of course, boredom gets the mind wandering. Yes. So we've got some big, exciting things uh, coming. Yes. Yes. Uh, over the next couple of weeks. Oh. The, um, not oh. anything on. No. All will be revealed. Just have to stay tuned and keep an eye on what's going on, but it's big. Got some big stuff coming. Um, so yeah, exciting times. Meanwhile, I've got fucking motorbikes everywhere. <laughs> big shout out to my dad. <laughs> my dad has become Synergy Storage. Synergy Storage. <laughs> the amount of times I've had to arrange well yeah actually and probably my dad to be fair yeah i have like i didn't totally like rework his oh yeah you read about your dad's workshop didn't you yeah yeah just just to store our bikes <laughs> and like lockdown project number one yeah right well you stay in there i'll just crack on with this don't worry about all them bitches you know where they are you'll never find them again yeah yeah i had to text my dad going i'm on the drive <laughs> and he'll open up the garage and then go in the house and then i'll go out the van and put the bikes in the garage and then he'll Shut it down and I'll give him a beep on the way up the drive. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, Mark. Mark as well. He's out for salvage and storage. He's got two bikes in his garage at the moment. He, uh, he needs it though. Yeah. He just needs it. He's got two. Dad's got three. You've got, got two, three. Yeah. Or four at home. I did sell two from there as well though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I did lighten the load before I yeah. refilled it. And I sold my blade. Yes. And what else is it? I'm sure we've missed something. I mean, the only point I haven't seen is probably my own. That's true. Yeah. The week before lockdown was a real good idea to put it in my mate's place. And that's where it's been. So that needs to come out soon and have some love. A bit of a finger in. Yeah, I think. Um... We can move some of these bikes around and make a bit of space. Mm. We can start giving us some TLC. Well, we're going to crunch some miles now. Oh, sugar! Nice. Make our way um, top what? north, not top north. What is it? Half way north. You can have all the cups, you can have all the lids, and all the sugars. But they took all the bastard stirrers out the machines. Wood shortage. Upside down now. That's annoying. We didn't just crunch them. Our camera keeps falling off. It's really annoying. So we're going to bail and uh, make our way up to towards Old Park and we'll catch up with you later. Peace.